a letter from the Lord given through Susan Davis on May 21st, 2023. The topic, My Word Tells the Truth. My children, listen to my words. The hour is growing dim. More and more people are turning their backs to me in favor of my enemy. Few even understand that they have lost their way. Very few choose to read my word and even less choose to study my word. I gave this word through my servants, the prophets, and many who gave up their lives to reveal my heart through my word. My book is blessed and blesses those who read it. There are great blessings that are given to those who spend the time in my word. Few even bother to read my word and learn of its deeper meanings. This book you have access to has a deeper meaning for those who spend time looking for that meaning. I reveal these things to the babes. No one has to be of great intellect to receive understanding through my Holy Spirit. Come to me to learn what exactly my word means and how it will convict, encourage, and lead people to safety. Revelations will follow for those who really desire to receive. I will pour my spirit out over those who come to me for greater understanding and will be generous and give freely to those who desire to be shown. My word tells the truth and will convict the heart. It will bring you joy, encouragement and build up trust in your God above. I desire for you to pour over my word. Let it bring you revelation and light a fire in you. Trust in me. Look only to me for the things that matter the most, being in right standing with your God. You will come away changed if you would just turn to me for your life answers. My word was forged from the heart of God. Come, partake in the wonders of this awe-inspiring and life-changing book, my word. This is your Lord. Amen. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 25 to 27 Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word, and to present her to himself as a glorious church, without stain or wrinkle or any such blemish but holy and blameless. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8 The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of God shall stand forever. Hey, boy, sound is something known Hear the Father say That yeah, is coming Don't get left behind don't get left behind boy. The rat, yeah, is coming Don't get left behind Don't get left behind